So in quietness, God quickens us. Psalm 80, verse 18. In quietness, we are drawn. In quietness, we are welcomed. In quietness, we are invited into a, the royal presence of God. And when that happens, prayer begins. And when prayer begins, it begins with wealth and meaning. There's no empty, forgive me, bless me, amen, and you repeat yourself. And then you enter into an amazing realm. It's really the tabernacle all over again. It's the, it's the seven uh, roadmaps into God's presence. Because we all have to be in at the gate. And from the gate we move in. So when you get on your knees, here's what happens. Watch me. Can I get a chair? Can I get your chair? Put it right there. Now, this is the presence of the Lord. And this is where I begin. So this is a good hour from here to there, most times, at least an hour. So you have to give that to the Lord. If you don't, no power. So I start. Now this I do every day. And the day I don't, I lose. So I get into my, my prayer room. And I wait. What I'm not aware of is as I'm waiting and I'm playing this music that you heard earlier, I'm getting closer, but I'm not realizing I'm getting closer. Because there's nothing going on. The, the, the flesh is fighting. The flesh is fighting because my mind is worn out. My body is worn out. I'm yawning. I get hungry. I want to do this. I want to do that. Because the flesh fights. But the longer I wait, the closer I get. And halfway is breaking point. Halfway is where, where I'm quickened. But I'm not realizing I'll be quickened. So now I've been here for 20 minutes. And, and, and I'm not saying a whole lot. And if I say something, I'm actually a hindrance to the Spirit. So i got to be quiet. I have to do what the Bible says. I simply am quiet. Quiet means quiet. So there's worship playing in my room because I have an, an iPad or I connect my phone to a speaker through Bluetooth. And I'm just waiting. About this right here, my stomach starts to want food. And I'm really getting tired and I'm wondering if God is watching, is he paying attention? Now, if I say, well, you know what? I maybe better go get a glass of water and maybe I'll feel better. What I don't know is I cannot get back into that position. I start here all over again. So a glass of water had just cost me half an hour. So I have to wait. Till I break through. 40 minutes have passed and nothing has happened that I can tell. But God is doing it and I'm not able because it's all spirit. The flesh cannot see the difference. Now suddenly, without me knowing, about here, I start crying. Tears are the sign of quickening. How many have had it happen to you? Put your hands up high. When that happens, everything changes. Now I call Jesus with truth. Over here, I was humming things and mumbling stuff and repeating stuff, and finally I got quiet long enough that God could quicken me. Because the more you talk, the more he does nothing. If you talk, he will not move. Because he has, he said in his word, be still. And be still means be quiet. So now I'm quickened. When I'm quickened, what I don't, uh, I don't understand or realize is I pass from the outer court to the holy place. In the holy place, I praise. And when I praise, everything in me now explodes. It's now the seeking realm. Over here was the asking realm. Remember Jesus said, ask, seek, knock. Here is the seeking realm where I'm seeking the Lord now. And my heart explodes for Jesus. And as I, now about 45, 50 minutes, and at this point, it feels like I've been in only three minutes because now time means nothing. 
Over there, it, it meant everything. Over here means nothing. And finally, about an hour, sometimes an hour and 15, I'm here, I'm completely wrapped in glory. At this point, there's such fellowship and such beauty, it's like I'm reborn. And when I leave this spot here, which has happened many times, anyone who sees me says, you've been with the Lord. Because they can tell everything is calm. And the thing is, your words are different. Now you love your enemies. Over there you hated them. Now you love them. Because without the presence of God, you can't love nobody. Now you forgive so easy. Over, over, over there you wanted to kill them all. Here you forgive them all. Because now God's presence made the difference. And now you can minister and bless people's lives and peace will fill your soul all day long. And you go in your car and you're singing all the way on the 405 with traffic everywhere. And you sing in the shower and you, you are so peaceful. Nothing can shake you. An earthquake can hit and nobody cares. You don't care because peace that passeth all understanding. And now the power of God is reality. Please stand up.